Her name was Kira Kagan. She died three years ago this week. All the evidence indicates she was likely killed by her father. In an exclusive update to this devastating story, City News has obtained a damning report on Kira's death. It shows the system that was supposed to protect Kira failed, even though there were multiple warning signs. I'm Kira and I'm eating a dried out green bean. Kira is described as a bright light, a child who was sassy and intelligent. She should be turning eight this year, but when she was only four years old, Kira and her father, Robin Brown, fell from a cliff at a conservation area in Milton. At the time, the cause of their deaths was deemed inconclusive, but this domestic violence death review committee report, comprised of an expert panel at the request of the coroner, has determined the case is extremely consistent with murder-suicide involving a father and child, and concludes Kira's mother, Jennifer Kagan, was most likely targeted for leaving the relationship, in other words, for revenge. Kagan had been desperately warning the courts of the danger for years. Every loving parent wants to protect their child. Um, this is every, you know, victim of violence's worst nightmare, and it did come true. Citing physical and psychological abuse, Kagan, who was a doctor, left her short marriage to Brown, an engineer, when Kira was just eight months old. What followed was a custody dispute that went on for the rest of the child's life. There were multiple red flags that Brown could kill Kira, but they were ignored. The report finds Brown exhibited at least 22 risk factors of intimate partner homicide. To put that into context, if there are seven, the review committee considers a death to be predictable and preventable. Brown showed more than triple that number. His risk factors included prior hostage taking or forcible confinement, choking, strangling the mother in the past, and prior violence against family pets. I was screaming and shouting from the rooftops talking about all of this around um, Brown's pathology, pathological lying, all of the concerns that I had for Kira's emotional and physical well-being. Even though various judges acknowledged Brown had been abusive, had a propensity to lie, breached court orders, and submitted forged documents to the courts, every layer of the system failed to either understand the risk or act on it. From the parenting assessor, a psychiatrist who couldn't determine which parent was telling the truth, to the two different children's aid societies involved, to the judge who awarded Brown 50% custody, despite the abuse Kagan detailed, which included Brown shoving a dead mouse into her mouth. He was of the view that domestic violence is not relevant to parenting, and that's false. There is, in fact, extensive research that shows children are at greater risk from a parent who has been abusive to their partner. That judge's background was in labor law. He has since retired from the bench. The report makes multiple recommendations, including enhanced training in family violence and coercive control for judges, children's aid societies, and those making custody assessments. The problem is many of the recommendations have been made before.